All right, YouTube, so I'm filming from my car with my phone. I have no idea if I'm gonna upload this video. I definitely don't plan on editing it, but I just wanna get some thoughts out. I started to type them when I was at the gym, like just trying to like get these thoughts out of my head and formulate them into sentences that made sense so maybe I could share them with you guys, but I couldn't like get them all out. Um, basically, today's been like a really crappy day. Just feeling bad, feeling like irritated, getting irritated really, really easily. And when I get like that, like, it drives me crazy if I don't know what the root of that problem is. Like, I'm always like, okay, what are you really mad about? Like, you're snapping at everybody. What are you actually upset about? And so today I felt, I like, after thinking about it for a while, I was like, I feel like just really inadequate today. Like, just not good enough. Not good enough in every single way. And going through the thoughts, like, I don't know. My clients and a lot of other people always ask me, do I compare myself to other people? And my first thought is always like, well, no, I don't compare myself to other people because A, I don't believe in comparing myself to other people, but that doesn't always mean I don't compare myself anyway. Um, but I guess when my clients and, and other people on the internet ask me if I compare myself to other people, I don't usually compare my body to other people anymore. Like that was a problem for me years ago, like to the extreme, for sure. Like that was the root of all of my unhappiness was that I was constantly comparing my body to other people's bodies and it made me unhappy. And somehow over the last couple of years, I've just gotten completely out of the habit of doing that to where it's not habitual for me to ever compare myself to anybody else's body. Seeing somebody who's in really good shape doesn't make me feel inferior about mine. Like that's just something that I personally have mastered. I wouldn't say master. Do you ever really master anything? Like it can always come back and like deal, mess with you. But um, <laughs> I was thinking today, I was like, why do you feel inadequate? If you're feeling inadequate, Lynette, like there must be someone that you're comparing yourself to or something, some standard that you're setting in your mind that you're not reaching today. And so I was trying to just like dig around like, wait, like what is going on, Lynette? Like just self-searching. And it just started occurring to me that I was feeling inadequate in my performance and like my successes as a business owner, as a person who's trying to do a lot of different things right now. I feel like when I used to struggle so much with comparing myself to other people's appearances, I think I stopped doing that because I shifted it to another area. So it's not even that I stopped comparing myself to other people, period. I just stopped comparing my body to other people, but I still compare my success and my my accolades or anything that you might want to call that, I still compare that to other people. Um, I feel like a lot of my confidence that I feel like I have now, because I generally would consider myself a confident person, I was thinking back, I was like, when did that start happening? When did I start feeling like a confident person? And honestly, I think it started happening when I opened my business. I started my business in the middle of 2015. I had just uh, competed in my first bikini competition and it was super hard work. So coming off the stage, I didn't place or anything, but I was just like stoked, like I did it, like super pumped about what I did. And then right after that, I launched my online and training business which I talk about all the time and at that time it like immediately took off like almost overnight I was able to quit my job at my gym and like make great money and I feel like that gave me so much confidence because I was like I'm 23 years old and I'm like a CEO I have my own business that I started myself or was I 24 I was 23 <laughs> but I let that give me so much confidence and there's nothing wrong with that I don't think there's anything wrong with getting confidence from the things that you've done because that's like awesome like you did it you accomplished the thing way to go you but I didn't realize since then that I have put like a large portion of my confidence in my business and being a business owner and being successful in the growth of my business and so much over the last year as the fitness industry has gotten flooded and I don't compare technically to the Amanda Bucci's or the Emily Duncan's or the whoever, whoever who are winning competitions and have like a shredded physique and I don't know, compete and do all these things and they have hundreds of thousands of followers on Instagram. Like that's all stupid stuff for me to ever be upset about, right? Like, and each one of those things is not something that I wish I had, but it's just that I look at my list of successes and then I look at their list of successes and I feel like crap, like I feel like not good enough. I feel like they're doing the same thing I'm trying to do, which is just change people's lives and make a difference in people's lives. Like that's always been my heart. And so I know that I do that. I know that from a business standpoint and from my clients and stuff like that, I know that I'm accomplishing my mission and I know that I'm on the path that I'm supposed to be on, but it's still like, I still have my bad days and it's still, just because I'm not comparing my body to somebody else's body doesn't mean that the pain of comparing my successes and 
or what I've accomplished to somebody else's successes still don't pierce the way that body comparison pierces. You know that feeling just like when you compare your body to somebody else's body and it just hurts and it sucks and you feel trapped with whatever it is that your current circumstances are. Like I still feel that way when I compare my success to somebody else's and it's not even like a conscious thought. Like it's not even like I'm going to go look up this awesome fitness YouTuber and see how many followers she has. Like see what she's doing, seeing how many clients that she has. But it's it's like a subconscious thing that I'm always thinking about how can I be better? How can I be more? How can I offer more? How can I expand? How can I this, that, and the other? And when I have these grandiose ideas and they fall short or I find out that they're just not going to work out, it just takes so much out of me. And when I have certain sales goals that I want to meet and I, I, I do certain things that I think are going to reap some sort of like result and they don't happen, it just like internally wipes me out where I just feel lower than low. And I'm sorry for crying, this is just who I am as a person, as a person who cries when they talk about emotional things, but I don't know, it's just been, it was really eye-opening for me to realize, like, okay, then I, you haven't gotten over this hump of comparing yourself to people, like, you haven't arrived at self-confidence, because that's kind of what I felt in the last couple of months, in the last year, really, that, like, wow, I finally am a confident person, all of these years of trying, and I finally like myself, I finally have accomplished this thing, but you realize that whatever it is that caused you to chase the goal of being perfect in your body, it's insatiable. So it's not even like you, you can eventually get the body you want and then that desire goes away. You could get the body you want and not even realize it and still think that there's more to get. And I think that the same is, it's the same with these goals that I have in mind that, I don't know, you know, in the world it's like, yes, everybody grind hard, like work hard, like work harder. And it's popular and it's acceptable to have super high goals and to push yourself to attain those goals, especially like non-fitness goals, like work-related goals, business-related goals, being a CEO, running your own company. That is so like, we're for that, right? Like we're all for that. But then realizing that I've just shifted my worth from coming from what I look like to what I accomplished was just really eye-opening to me. And I guess the bottom line of this is... It's, <sighs> I normally cut all this out when I'm editing vlogs, but I'm just straight up uploading this to YouTube. But I guess what I'm trying to like say here is that, I don't know, I don't want to sound like some sort of martyr, like, yes, I suffered too. And I never want to come off like that, that I'm like so amazing that you guys can never be like me. Y'all, that's like so, so, so not what I'm trying to say. But people ask me daily in my email, in my inbox, in my, in my direct messages, in my texts from my clients, everything. People ask me, do you ever struggle with self-confidence issues? Do you ever struggle with not feeling good enough? And I feel like a lot of times my answer has been kind of like, a, well, yeah, I guess, you know, I have my bad days when like I'm realizing the answer is like freaking yeah. Yeah. And I, all this time I thought it was just like, oh, you're just feeling sorry for yourself because you're not as accomplished as you want. But no, it's, I feel like I'm worthless because I don't accomplish certain things or that there's people my age who've done more than I've done. And I f am just realizing that I have the insatiable desire to have a perfect body that I had years ago has just moved to this insatiable desire to feel like I'm a success, to feel like I've proven to people, I don't know, like that, hey, dropping out of college worked for me. Hey, starting my own business worked for me. I still feel like I have to prove that to the world, not even anybody in particular, but to the world and to myself that like, yeah, I can do hard things. And again, that can be a good and bad thing. But when I'm realizing now, like, dude, your whole day has sucked and felt like you're like the most worthless piece of crap on the earth because you didn't meet a certain sales goal because you didn't get the certain amount of views that you thought you were going to get on YouTube on your latest video. Like, really, Lynette? Like, that's what's running your day. That's to me as silly as two years ago when my day was ruined because I looked in the mirror and I didn't see as many abs as I wanted. Like, that's just as ridiculous to me. So what's the difference here? You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'm going to up this, load this to YouTube. I don't know exactly what I was trying to say here. I just wanted to get out what I was thinking. And apparently some of you think that I don't have any self-confidence issues, that I don't have really bad days where I feel just like I don't want to be me. And for mo hopefully most of you are like, yeah, dude, you're human. Like we know that that is your life and we don't think you're perfect. Like, yeah, right. Like we think you're perfect. But for those of you who, for whatever reason, think that my life is better than it actually is, or because of what I put on the internet, that things are really great for me and that nothing's ever wrong and that I don't internally struggle really badly. 
That's just not the case. I have really bad days, just like everybody else. I have days where I just, I just feel like I'm never going to be happy. And I know though that those are lies, just like two or three years ago when I, in my head, thought I'm never going to be happy because I'm never going to look how I want to look, I had to recognize that those were lies, that those thoughts that came into my head were not true. Just remember that not every thought that comes into your head is a true thought, and just because it comes up does not mean you have to keep it in your head or even listen to it. Thoughts come up all day long, and you guys have to just get rid of them. You have to just decide, I'm not going to even hang on to that thought. I'm not going to dwell on it for even a second longer. You have to just let it go. And that for me is what I put into practice to let go of the body image things where I felt like I had to look perfectly. And now I guess it's occurring to me like, all right, Lynette, well, now you have to apply that to like the accolades thing, the feeling like you need to have a million dollar company and have a million followers on your social media channels and everyone has to love you and think that you're amazing or else life is not good enough. Like that's another thing I'm realizing that I have to let go of is that expectation that that will ever be fulfilled because again, it's an insatiable desire for you to look for your worth in anything other than God. And for me, that's going to be the be all end all of it is realizing that that is where I'm going to find my worth is in Christ and who he says I am, not in anything that I can accomplish on earth for myself. So, yep. All right. That's all I've got to say. Thumbs up if you like this and don't thumbs down because that's rude. Okay. All right. Bye guys.